Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. This is episode two, and we are continuing where I left off in the first episode, which is basically just finding our spot to build here, based on what the game was telling us to do, building a shelter. And now what we need to do is find the sleeping survivor, travel through the shroud, but we need to get some things done before we do that. So I did a few things off camera. I ground out some resources. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our first set of armor done. We need string and torn cloth. We have plenty of it. Now up here is the top part. You have your chest, you have your legs, and you have your uh, feet. So let's go ahead and craft this, craft this, and craft this. Go ahead and equip it. And let's take a look at our character. And we now have some physical resistance and magical resistance on our legs, on our feet. So we now have a total of 30 resistance. So that's awesome. That's a lot better. I still have some skill points to, to use, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, save them. Don't know what direction I want to go. We can go all kinds of directions in the game as your character. So that's the RPG element. Now, let's take a look inside the base here. I added doors. I added window frames. And basically everything that I've added, you can just build inside the uh, crafting bench here. It doesn't take any kind of materials at all. This is just stone for a fireplace. This gives you warmth. And as you can see now, we've increased our rested bonus. It's going up there. It should get up to 16 minutes. There we go. We've got a rested bonus of 16 minutes now because we added all of these amenities. A bed, a dresser, a cool skull candle. I added some storage over here. Another fireplace. The fireplace keeps the warmth. And if we stand in the middle here, we are out of the warmth. So in order to regen your rested bonus, much like Valheim, you do have to... Uh, be near a warm source, and you do have to decorate the inside of your dwelling in order to get that rested bonus increased. So, we are now set. We have everything that we need, and we are able to travel and have a little better chance of surviving the shroud. This stuff is so valuable, I just got to grab it when I can. The nice thing about the game that I've found out so far by playing through, and thank you so much everybody for joining me. I'm so happy uh, that you're here and that you're uh, checking this game out with me. It's an awesome game, but one of the things that I found out is all of these materials respawn rather quickly. So there is, the grind isn't as bad as it could be because there's plenty of everything to get. You just have to go out and get it. I also found out that hunting is a lot easier if you crouch and then the animals will not run away as easily. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy real quick. And if you stay crouched, he'll stop and you'll be able to sneak up on him again and probably kill him. <laughs> Point is, if you stay crouched, you'll be able to get these guys a lot easier without them running too far away from you. And you do need the fur and you do need the meat. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go rescue this guy. We're gonna have to travel through the shroud now. I've got a wolf right here. This wolf is stuck right inside the uh, rock here. He can't move so you can get a free kill. At least in my map you can. So I kill him every day because he's kind of stuck there every day. All right, we have some items here. Let's go ahead and take this and let's go ahead and read this lore. And let's head on down into the shroud here. Got another piece of lore over here. Let's go ahead and grab it. I just heard something. Thought I heard something. Let's read this real quick. There you go. What do we got in here? Bandages and arrows. Got another torch, it looks like. I don't need it. Uh, we need some shroud wood because I think what I would like to try to get done in this episode, as well as uh, rescuing the sleeping survivor, stay on the path, let the shrouds kin take you. Salvation lies straight ahead. Uh, I'd like to get some of this uh, shroud wood. We need to... Oh, we can harvest this stuff? What is this stuff? This is shroud liquid. All right, well, we might as well get it. Probably going to need it. I don't know what that is. I can't pick it. Let's keep moving. We're in the shroud. We got five minutes here. I'm sure we're going to get attacked. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and use my bow with this guy. Nope, too late. Here he is. He's kind of standing there, pal. 
All right, there we go. Oh, we got a ring. Go ahead and equip it and search this guy. All right, we got any more guys here? Definitely need this stuff. Yeah, these are valuable resources right here. We're going to need all of this stuff. Let me see if my axe is a little bit better. Yep, excellent. Okay. Yeah, so if we use the axe, we can break stuff a lot easier. All right, this is uh, replenishes our shroud time. Don't need that right now. Anything in here? I don't see anything. Get our weapon on. I do want some wood, though. We do need some shroud wood. Let's see if we can get some. We need shroud wood to make a glider. We have everything else. I'm assuming chopping wood in the shroud is going to uh, give us the shroud wood. So let's find out. What do we got there? Shroud wood. Excellent. All right. And is that it? Is that all I got? I need some more. Let's restore some of our time here because I wanted to get that wood because I know we need it and uh, let's continue on here All right, we're looking to try to save the traveler and I think this is the way we have to go down here take a look at the map here nope he's up here all right so let's go up this way all right metal excellent we need metal for the grappling hook so hopefully we'll be able to get some more metal as we're trying to save this uh, survivor here. It looks like we're going to go up this way. Some flint. Alright, let's see where we're at here. Alright, we need to go over to the left here. Whoa! Hello! What's happening, my man? Kind of a... Kind of an honorary uh, welcome there, my friend. Uh, I'm not appreciative of that. You got anything on you? Do I get that cool uh, crossbow? No? I did get metal scraps. I think we're where we need to be here. Let's go ahead and be careful now as we go through here. Now, this is the bridge. I don't think we can cross the bridge. No, we can't cross the bridge. We're, we're still heading this way. I think we're looking to go up this way. Yeah, I think this is where we need to be here. Let's take a look at our situation. Yep, this looks like where we need to be. We've got some, some capsules over here. All right, bushes can conceal you when you're within them. Whoa! Just got hit by some bees. All right, we need to heal up here. Let's go ahead and use a bandage. All right. All right, so we can conceal ourselves inside of bushes like this. Very, oh, oh yeah, check this out. Let's go ahead and... No, we don't want to do that. Probably not a good idea to shoot an arrow at that guy. All right, let's go ahead and hit another bandage up here. All right, anybody else? I hear somebody. Hey, hey, how you doing? Let's go. Yeah, two, three, swirl. Now my turn. All right, you block. My turn. There we go. Stun ya. Nice, nice little stun, my man. Ah, you didn't expect that. Yeah, you could definitely see why we needed to get some armor before we started this, right? Let's go ahead. I want to heal up one more time. I want to check, check everything out here. What do we got here? Metal. This is great, great. We're going to be able to get the uh, grappling hook built. We've got some lore over here. Let's go ahead and read this real quick. You guys, go ahead and read that. 
There you go. What's we got here? All right, let's go ahead and eat some food here. There we go. Gives us a little. Whoops, sorry. It gives us a little, uh, little extra buff. Get everything in there. Oh nope, right here. Excellent. Yeah, this is the great thing about the game is just the exploration of it. This is a ladder. Can I go up this ladder? I can. If I can go up it, that means there might be something up here. Let's check it out. And there is. All right, we got some bombs. Some more lore. Eureka. There you go. Read that. Oh, we got to take these bales because I do need the cloth. There we go. What else did we get here? We got water, cloth. Should I break this? That's just going to give me wood. That's just going to give me wood. This will give me cloth, I think. Yep. Let's see. How do I get down? I take fall damage? Nope. Good. All right. That is uh, something you can blow up. Let me go ahead and blow this up real quick. Right. Probably got one more guy in here. Yeah, there he is. Let's go ahead and pick him pick him down with the arrow here. There we go. Take him out. Get some more metal. Get some lore over here. Go ahead and read that. And uh, I think this is the guy we're looking for. Come on out, my man. Oswald Anders, the blacksmith. All right, recipe unlocked. Summoning staff. Charcoal at the charcoal kiln. All right, that recipe's been unlocked. It looks like we did what we came to do. Okay, we got some upgrades on our armor. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's head back to the base, and we're going to do that by teleporting. You can fast travel to your base, and that's what we're going to do. And we're going to summon the survivor. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. I am so glad to be playing this game. It is uh, such a cool survival game, and I hope you guys are... Uh, enjoying my take on a survival playthrough versus a uh, simulation uh, game and uh, yeah this is just so much fun I, I give this a uh, everybody from uh, from teenagers to grandpa can play this game this is super easy to follow along with super easy to understand uh, just read what it tells you to do all right so we're gonna get our bonus here real quick increase our rested and then I think let's go ahead and take a look here we need to summon our blacksmith and I'm not quite sure how we do that. All right, Jay. Let's open up our journal. We found him. All right. Oh, we need to do this with the summoning staff. All right. So now we got to go over here and we need to craft the sum summoning staff. We can craft our glider, which is awesome. The grappling hook. We just need to get more spores and string. Uh, but let's get to what we need to get to doing here. We need this summoning staff, and that just takes twigs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go back here, and I am going to get the glider. And then we'll try to get that uh, grappling hook if we can. All right, so the summoning staff, seven. There it is. Tab. Oh, check it out. All right, where do we want to put him? Let's let's put him right by the table here. He'll look good standing there. And we'll just go ahead and put him down, I guess. Do I put him down? Put him down. There we go. X to use snapping. All right, there we go. Oi! Welcome. Let's talk to you. Let's fix that up. All right, uh, what do we got to do here? Crafting the first gear. <laughs> Took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny, and they call you Flameborn. First thing you need is a weapon. Lucky you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword or spike club will serve us well. All right, let's see what we can. Can we? Oh, we got nails. 
We got pickaxe. Oh, I like this. We got armor. Now, we have the animal fur. We have the cloth. All we have to do is make the string. So let's, uh, what's this? Enhanced equipment. Manual crafting. Let's go back to blacksmithing. Uh, yeah, what do we, we want to make a charcoal kiln to get charcoal up and running. Let's go ahead and look at a weapon, a one-handed weapon. Right now, it looks like we can make a spike club. That's a 17 damage. We need to make nails. Let's go ahead. Let's make some nails. And let's go ahead and uh, make the uh, the weapon here. Oh, we need four nails. Let's go ahead and make another set of nails. And let's go ahead and make this club. There we go. I'm going to make a pickaxe because I can. And I think that's going to be... Uh, preferable to do let's go ahead and manual craft let's go ahead and make some string and let's go back to the blacksmith let's see if we can upgrade our armor we need animal fur let me go ahead and grab some animal fur here i think it's in this one yep all right we've got plenty of animal fur all right and let's go ahead and craft again full armor set Let's make the chest. Let's make the legs. The feet. And we need metal scraps to do the gloves. I just wanted to get at least the basics. And he needs cleansing fire. Embervale can be saved. Where there's ash, there's embers, kid. The shroud suffocates the valleys, so seek the elixir well with your new gear and raise the root of our misery. Ignite the depths and set the evil ablaze. Go on, I'm counting on you, Flameborn. Wow, well rested. Even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. A fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. All right. Now get out. Okay, uh, now get out. Okay, awesome. We've got a uh, thing over here. Let's go ahead and Hit this. You have awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the springlands. This is awesome. This is awesome. Now, we still don't have what we need. We need a shroud core uh, to upgrade that. And I don't know how you get that. We got resin. We can get red mushrooms. We have bones. I don't have a spark yet, but we are close to being able to upgrade the flame altar. And obviously, we don't need to reset any skills. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's craft up our new armor here, or actually equip it. We already crafted it, and let's go ahead and equip our glider, our trousers, and our equipment. Let's take a look at our character. All right, we're now 44 resistance. We just need to get some more metal and make the gloves, and uh, I think we'll be all set to uh, explore further in the land. I do want to make the grappling hook, so I am going to have to get some metal for that as well. And yeah, I think uh, that's a great uh, way to uh, kind of end this episode. It's getting dark, and it's time for me to grind some more resources, and uh, I hope you guys are liking my playthrough. Uh, I hope it's uh, helping you if you're playing the game, and and let's play it together, shall we? Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe for more Enshrouded videos. And uh, I will see you all in the next episode. Ta-ta and bye-bye.